Welcome back and happy Monday. I hope all of you enjoyed your weekend. Right now we have a look at some of your temperatures this morning as you're getting ready to head out the door and what you can expect for the rest of your morning. So we're still right around those mid to upper 50s as you can see here, but let's look ahead to about nine o'clock this morning. Temperatures start to increase a little bit more, 67 for Paso. We have 63 by that hour for solving. Low 60s still for Santa Barbara and San Luis Obispo, but we will quickly increase here, especially for parts of our inland valleys. Some areas close to the 80s for that max daytime high, but it is possible across the deeper interiors that we could see temperatures reach the 90s for your Monday. Now here's a look at the wind forecast. Things are actually calming down a little bit, especially towards the coastline. You can see by three o'clock this afternoon, close to 10 mile per hour winds along the north coast. And then for Lompoc solving between about 15, 20 mile per hour wind speeds, it's the deep interiors and parts of our inland valleys like Paso, Atascadero that could have some gusty wind conditions this afternoon through early this evening. So let's take a look at that. You can see here with the peak wind gusts, San Miguel can actually reach 25 mile per hour wind speeds and that could last from about three this afternoon until midnight. And that will, we'll have some similar conditions for Paso Robles, Atascadero, Shandon, but closer to about 20 mile per hour wind speeds. Now for your microclimate model, it does show the fog lingers through late this morning along the coast. And in some areas, it could just be stubborn to clear for today. We did see that yesterday for the five cities region where we were just kind of soft in the entire day. We'll have the return of the marine layer late tonight over parts of the coastal valleys. It'll linger through the overnight hours and we'll have that same condition that we're starting this morning out with. So for the coast, moderate onshore flow along the south coast should actually keep the beaches clear for this afternoon. But it's going to be stronger as we head into Slow County and for those central coast beaches, which means like we just saw in the model there, some beaches could stay cloudy for the afternoon hours. But by Wednesday, an upper high develops. That's going to result in even more clearing towards the south coast region. And by Friday, because of the high pressure, daytime highs are going to be about five to six degrees above normal. So we're definitely anticipating a warm up. We'll really feel it again across those interiors. Here's a look at your daytime highs. You can see some areas reaching the low 80s, like slow. That will also go for Santa Inez and will be closer to the low 70s for Goleta and Carpinteria. I'm still seeing some 90s here as we get into California Valley, Shandon, San Miguel, closer to those mid 80s for Tascadero and mid to upper 60s along the North Coast. Back to you. All right. Thanks, Brooke. Time right.